Hey everybody, Johnny here with Team Legit. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware on your Dragonlink transmitter and Dragonlink receiver. Now I've got here a Dragonlink version 2 transmitter and a Dragonlink version 2.7 receiver. Uh, however, there is a newer firmware update. Uh, it's always better to run newest firmware if uh, to help resolve any issues that you may or may not be having. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to upgrade the uh, firmware again on the transmitter and the receiver using the supplied cables from dragonlinkrc.com or dragonlabs.net um, and I'll show you how to do it how to do the connections and how to do it on the computer so here we go the next step is to download the firmware updater app and I'll go ahead and put the zip file in the description below and also you can find it in the dragonlink rc groups thread so what you'll do is you'll go ahead and create a new folder and I'll go ahead and name this folder dragonlink and open the zip file extract extract all to my dragonlink folder that's located here on my desktop so now you'll have a uh, set of files so um, you'll see here that there is a description in each firmware rx before december 7 2011 to april 2012 and you'll have before uh, uh, December 7th 2011 then you'll have RX current after April 2012 so my current RX that I'm using is a version 2.7 um, I'll also put the description in the description below the different firmwares you'll need for different uh, receivers so uh, I have the current receiver which was uh, created after April 2012 and also the uh, transmitter that was also after 2012. So what we'll do now is let's go ahead and get back to the actual hardware aspect of it. Okay, now on to the hardware aspect of it. You're going to need a USB to USB mini converter. I'll go ahead and plug that into my computer. Now you'll have to go ahead and make the connection from the USB mini converter to the USB updater. You'll see my computer recognize the updater and now has the lights on the uh, Dragonlink firmware updater. You're going to then need to make your connections for the transmitter. There are three ports on the back of your Dragonlink transmitter. You'll have the data port, the tracking for your head tracking, and the radio port. This is the port that I'll be using to power. As you can see, I've etched out the polarity of each plug. I've got my signal, my plus, which is your voltage, and your minus for your ground. So we'll go ahead and plug the data cable into the firmware updater. As you can see, nothing happens here because the Dragonlink is not powered on. In order for the Dragonlink updater to recognize your Dragonlink, you're going to have to power your Dragonlink. And the way I do it is I use a two cell battery with a JST plug. And you have to make sure that the polarity is sensitive. You have the minus here and the plus here. So we'll go ahead and insert the JST connector into the first two pins. You'll see the lights come on on the Dragonlink transmitter and now it's in data mode. We go into our Dragonlink video updater file and we're going to select the COM port that our USB is connected to. Now in my case it's connected to USB COM port 8. We're going to select the firmware which is going to be TX current after 2012. We're going to open and you're going to hit update Dragonlink firmware. You'll see the firmware updater flash with red and green. You'll see the progress bar on your computer moving very quickly. Now this takes about 30 seconds. Now I've got a now I've got a Dragonlink successfully updated on my computer and it's okay to disconnect. I'm going to go ahead and hit okay. Remove the power from the Dragon Link, disconnect the data port, and you're done. And now your Dragon Link version 2.0 has been now updated to the latest firmware. Okay, now onto the receiver. I've got my version 2.7 receiver here. I removed the antenna to make it easier and more accessible to plug into the port. So what we're going to do here is we're going to leave our USB connected to our laptop or PC, and we're going to go ahead and plug in the USB updater. My computer recognized it, and we're going to go ahead and now attach the USB updater to the receiver updater. Very simple connection, locks right in. We'll go ahead and plug in our 
receiver you see that there's a little power light there now this doesn't mean that the receiver is powered we're going to need a BEC, a 5 volt BEC to power our receiver so I'll go ahead and plug that into any of the ports except for the RSSI and now we've got a power on the receiver we'll go ahead and pick our firmware this one is going to be the receiver December 7th receiver 7th up to April 12th April 2012 we'll go ahead and open hit update dragon link you'll see the lights flash on the updater you'll see the status light go green on the receiver and it is now updating the receiver takes about 20 to 35 seconds to completely upgrade so now I've got a dragon link successfully updated okay to disconnect the light cycled through on the receiver I do have a power light here but uh, we'll go ahead and not mind that now I'll go ahead and remove my power from my receiver I'll disconnect my updater cable and now my receiver and transmitter are updated to the latest firmware I hope this video helped you update your DragonLink firmware. If you have any questions, go ahead and see the RC Group's DragonLink thread, or you can leave comments below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you. I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching.